going to kind of paddle around the lake, look for frogs, herons, maybe a deer if I'm really lucky. Um, just do some exploring, enjoy the morning. It's beautiful out, beautiful blue skies. The sun is out and up and uh, it's already pretty warm. <laughs> Well, yesterday when I was out floating around on the Thermarest, uh, I noticed a couple of really big pitcher plants near my campsite. Um, and I just noticed this one at the end of the lake. It's just beautiful. It's huge. And I'm just paddling along and not too far from the plant that I just showed you. Uh, there's another small area here where there's a bunch of pitcher plants. Oh, this one looks really big as well. I think these plants are so cool. And I got a few pieces of some really dry driftwood. Um, so I'm really happy with that. I just got to the um, portage. This is the portage that goes into Poker Lake. Just right off the uh, start of the portage and I'm not even at the portage. I'm just like the portage is over here. <laughs> And right next to where you uh, land the canoe, look at all this wood. There's just stacks of it. This is what I need, just some, um, you know, smaller type stuff uh, to keep the fire going. I have some bigger pieces, so I'm just going to grab all this up and I'm going to process it right now, make it small so it'll fit in the boat. And uh, then I just have to bring it up to camp and I'm all done for the day. All kinds of just sticks and branches here everywhere. So, um... Easy peasy, and I have the saw in case there's something good. Well, it's 10.30. Um, I've been here for quite a while. I am literally drenched in sweat. It is so, so hot already. Um, got a good amount of firewood here in the boat. Um, bigger pieces in the front, and a whole bunch of small ones in the back. And that is exactly what I needed. Uh, to go with the bigger pieces that I sawed up yesterday. So um, I probably didn't need wood, but I always like to have more than I need so I can leave some and uh, need something to do in the morning, right? So um, good little chore. I'm gonna go paddle around the lake uh, some more and uh, just check things out. Well, it's 10.45 and uh, I'm just returning back to the campsite. Been paddling around for um, a couple hours. I uh, got a whole bunch of wood with me in the boat and uh, I'm going to pull up and unload it. Number three. Right, it's almost noon. Um, I was just chatting with some people on my phone, doing a few things here and there, and uh, just waiting for my strawberries. I put some water in them. Um, these are dehydrated strawberries and uh, there's a video I have on that on my channel if you want to see how I did that. Um, but super easy. They're all rehydrated, nice and plump now. Um, got my pancake mix in here. Um, I'm basically just going to pour this water and the berries into the mix and then I'll just add more water accordingly until it's the right consistency. Uh, I've got some uh, pure maple syrup from Muskoka here from my friend Paula. Um, so yummy. Thank you, Paula. Um, Paula's going through some crap right now, so everybody send her some good vibes for me, okay? I'd appreciate it. Um, so there's the maple syrup, and I forgot the chocolate chips. Uh, but that's okay. Um, but they'll still be delicious.
Well, they're not the most beautiful pancakes I've ever made, but I'm sure they're going to be very, very delicious. Oh, those pancakes were so good. Um, I didn't, uh, usually I smush up the strawberries in the bag before I put the water in, because um, they're crunchy, right? They're almost like chips. Um, but I forgot to do that today. So I had like big slices of strawberry and it was really good. Um, that maple syrup is so good too. Um, real maple syrup is just so much better when you like have it after a while. Like if I go back to Aunt Jemima now, I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, I got a turkey on the lake somewhere. Um, and I also have a woodpecker not too far down. And there's a loon still swimming around here. So it's kind of nice. I've just been sitting here um, watching, you know, nature. And uh, I went and looked at the weather network um, to see what's happening with this thunderstorm. Because, like, uh, I can't picture, like, there's a couple of light, white, fluffy clouds. But I can't picture that, like, in less than three hours, it's going to be thunder lighting and raining for the next seven hours. I mean, I know that weather can change quickly, but um, anyways, I looked and it says now six o'clock to 10 o'clock. Yesterday, it was three o'clock to 10 o'clock and the day before or earlier, uh, it was one o'clock to 10 o'clock. So um, hopefully the rain might totally miss me, but um, regardless, I am still gonna put up the tarp because you never know. Um, I'm making um, campfire pies or pie irons. There's all different kinds of names for them. Um, I was supposed to go camping with someone else last weekend, and then I moved the reservation to this weekend, and then it was at Kiosk, and I didn't wanna go there. I, just, I wanted to come somewhere close, so then I booked here. <laughs> so a little bit of a story, but um, I still wanna make the, the campfire pizzas with the pie iron. Well, in order to set up the tarp, the way I want to. Um, I need to use this tree. Um, I can get to the base of it. That's not a problem. Um, you know, a little bit of climbing, whatever. But I won't be able to get it up very high. So what I'm going to do, I think, is throw a line over uh, this branch here, if I can get it, and then uh, just tie it to the bottom of the tree somewhere. And then uh, that way I can use it. The sun's gone away. I've finally done all my chores and I'm ready to go swimming and I don't even care that the sun's gone because it's so hot. <laughs> um, I just finished putting up the tarp. Uh, check the accumulation. It's something like 0.5 <laughs> from now until tomorrow. So like, yeah, maybe there's thunder and lightning and whatever, but <laughs> it's not even supposed to rain a lot. I can still fully stand under this um, with the paddle not there but then there's a dip in the tarp and then if it does rain a lot the water will pool there so uh, i'm just going to leave that there for now but when i go to bed or whatever i usually take it out so i don't like to leave the paddle there unattended um but yeah it's pretty good it's giving me a lot of room and uh so i can have a fire and um i'm going swimming now i'm just gonna like float on the water for like an hour with my head under there i'm just so so hot water in my ear. I hate that. Get out, get out. <sighs> There's a woodpecker right across somewhere. It's not too far, but he's in the forest. Um, that big rock that I jumped off of, it's all part of this whole rock and it comes in the water and it slants right down. And I found out that there's like a little kind of indent where I can sit. So I can just sit here and check stuff out and uh, they'll be in the water and be cool. And there's a loon over there too. I don't know if you can see it. Oops. <laughs> I gotta watch because I gotta keep my balance or I gotta slide off the rock. 
and then there was a leech. Uh, and then Christina got out of the water quickly. Happy to see that the leech is still in the water and not on me. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's lots of them in here. Oh, that's great. Okay, I'm gonna strip myself down and search myself. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, I spent a lot of time in the hammock after spending a lot of time in the water. <laughs> after jumping out really quickly because there was the uh, leeches in there. <laughs> um, I finally dragged my butt up out of the hammock and uh, started a fire so I can uh, get some nice hot coals so I can make my dinner. Um, here is my, it says camp cooker. <laughs> um, I haven't even taken off the, the cardboard um, wrapper. Um, so there's the the pie iron it's very heavy um, I looked it up I think it said it was 3.5 kilograms <laughs> um, so it's really heavy I just carried it in my hand with my backpack it's only a 200 meter portage um, so that's something I would normally bring on a trip but I was supposed to be at Kiosk um, originally and there was no portage there so um, I figured why not so I'm just gonna let this wood burn down and uh, I'm gonna sit here and keep reading my book and um, just chilling out here on Upper Crane Lake. All right, so here is my camp cooker, as it's called on the package, uh, or my pie iron. Uh, basically, this is made of cast iron if you've never seen one. Um, a lot of kids at camps use these and stuff like that, I think. Uh, I never went to camp, so I don't know. Um, some people put the irons in the fire for a few minutes just to get them hot and then they uh, put some butter in them and then make their pies. Um, I butter my bread and I just start it cold and uh, put it on. So basically put a piece of bread butter side down on one side, um, fill it with whatever. I have salsa, mushrooms, pineapple and ham. Uh, and mozzarella cheese um, and then put the other piece of bread on top and then you squeeze it together you fold it closed uh, like so and squeeze it together and it's got a clip and everything on it and then you stick it in the coals and uh, that's it you just kind of open it up to check it and when it's nice and golden brown and all the stuff inside is melty then you take it out and you can use it for all kinds of things. You can make eggs in it or um, different kinds of sandwiches, meat, stuff like that. Um, I've only ever made pies. Um, I have one for dinner and I have one for dessert. All right, here are the ingredients for my pie. I have a lot. I could probably make a couple pies with this. Um, just sliced up the mozzarella because it's really warm. Um, I smelt and tasted everything. I have a little piece of ham that was frozen yesterday when I brought it in. Um, it's not slimy, it smells fine, so I'm gonna take a risk. Um, got some bread that's buttered and uh, some salsa to use as the sauce and some chopped up uh, pineapple. I had just some uh, frozen pieces from a can of pineapple um, that I had and uh, a couple of little mushrooms there. So that's gonna be quite tasty. All right, I had a hard time getting a good place to set up the camera, so this is gonna have to do. Um, all right, so I brought four pieces of bread. Two are for my dessert, um, which I'll talk about later. Um, I've been trying to keep these very safe in the bear vault so that they wouldn't get crumbly or break or whatever. Seemed to be okay. I buttered them generously and then put them inside out, so. Uh, really matter which one okay uh, oops butter side down duh <laughs> crust was coming off a little bit okay I have got some salsa you have to watch when you use wet stuff because they can get too soggy and then they don't get crispy um, I just use a little bit and I don't like a lot of sauce on most of my stuff anyways so works out perfect for me. Now I have some ham here. Um, someone had sent me a message um, on YouTube about meat. Uh, I had turkey kielbasa on my seven day waterfall trip and they were asking how long like 
it, it can be like kept unrefrigerated, all that stuff. Um, I can't really say to you, yep, yeah, go use turkey kielbasa and bring it on a seven day trip and it's fine and you can eat it and you're not gonna get sick. Um, I have been taking it on trips for 20 years. I've never gotten sick. But there's also been a few times where I've, you know, gone to eat it and it didn't smell quite right. It was a little slimy and so I passed. You have to use your best judgment when you're doing stuff like this and that's what backcountry camping is all about. Um, you know, being self-sufficient, being able to bring everything that you need with you, not forgetting stuff, making sure that your food is safe to eat and that you don't get sick, all of those things. Um, so yes, I do bring salami, I bring kielbasa. If it's a really hot trip, I'll bring tuna packets. Um, I'll only eat it maybe on the first day uh, when I can keep it cold. Um, sometimes I'll bring like a Ziploc bag full of ice, so once that's gone, I just have the Ziploc bag to, to pack out. Um, and I just have that like on the first day. It all depends on the weather, what kind of meat it is, what kind of food it is. Um, you have to use your best judgment and uh, know when something's not good or kind of go, you know what, I don't trust that, I'm not gonna eat it. Um, it's up to you, right? Um, so this is just what I do and I've had it work for me. Yeah, I've been sick probably once in a while, every now and then on something that I didn't know about, but as far as I, I know, like I've never gotten deathly ill on, on like food that I've eaten that was bad. Um, everything's been kind of copacetic. So um, use your judgment. You know, um, you gotta think when they make cured meats like salamis and stuff like that, they hang them from a ceiling for like months or weeks, right? So it's not refrigerated then. So just think about it like that. Anyways, um, I've got my little pie ready here. Uh, got a whole bunch of stuff on it. Oh, I didn't do the, the mushrooms yet. I forgot to bring my fork over, but this is gonna be good. It's basically just like a uh, like a pressed sandwich, right? Pie is she is a ready. I'm gonna put the other piece on top and I'm gonna squish it. I'm just gonna come grab the camera and take a picture of this before I close it up. Alright, got my other piece of bread here with the butter on it. Put it like so. And then, this is the fun part, you get to squish them in here. And anything that's like accessible, squish out the edges and you're supposed to trim it. So I'm going to try to squish it all inside, but there you go. Squish. And then you fasten this guy. Now you gotta watch when you're using this in the fire. Don't touch any parts of the metal. If you're gonna open and close this to so check it, make sure you're wearing gloves or you got a towel or something because this, this metal piece gets really hot. So I'm just gonna take off these little bits of bread here. There, so it's all ready to go now. Oh, that thing is heavy. Now it goes in the fire. All right, now my friend Sin was always the pie maker. Um, she's actually the one that taught me about uh, the campfire pies, um, cast iron pies, pie irons, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Thank you, Looney. And um, we used to make them all up and then she would handle the cooking part. So um, it says to cook it for three or four minutes. Um, I guess we'll just see, I'll just check on it and flip it over and see how it goes. Friends, the loons touring this uh, part of the lake once again. Just having a nice day together. So cute. All right, it's time to play Check My Pie. Let's see if this baby's done. I'm gonna think yes. Hopefully, I didn't burn it. Oh yeah, there we go. Beautiful. that piece off. Got my plate waiting. Oh, is it going to come loose? Yes. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's a little bit stuck on the edge. There we go. <laughs> well, it doesn't look very beautiful, but I bet you it's going to taste really good. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, the little pizza pie pocket thing is really hot. Uh, I'm going to cut it so you guys can see it, and then I'm going to eat it. <laughs> so there you go. 
go. Some ooey gooey pizza goodness, pineapple, mushroom, ham, lots of cheese, and a little bit of salsa. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna burn my mouth, but I'll give it a try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go eat this. See you in a bit. Well, I kept the fire going because I have a dessert to make with the pie iron, but I'm still too full to make it yet. <laughs> I just threw on a small handful of sticks. Um, it's six o'clock and the sun is trying to come back out now. Uh, the clouds have finally cleared up. It's been overcast pretty much since about mm, 1230 or so. Um, and it's supposed to be thunder and lightning at 7 p.m. Um, now it says 8 p.m. Uh, between 8 and 10. <laughs> All right, I'm getting ready to make pie number two. Um, this is my dessert. Uh, I specifically brought the end of the bread so that it was a little bit smaller because I knew I would be pretty full. I'm actually really, really thirsty. I think I've drank five um, of the Lark bottles today, which is like a liter of water. I think something like that, maybe even a little more. It's so hot, I just keep drinking and drinking and uh, just fill me right up. So, all right, the butter side down. And what I'm going to make is an apple pie. Um, I have Fiji apples from my friends over at OTG Meals. And uh, what I did, these are freeze dried apples. Um, but what I did is I put some water in them when I was making dinner earlier. And now they are plump and delicious. And I'm going to put some on the bread. By the looks of the bread, not too many. <laughs> Or the looks of the apples, they're pretty big. Um, maybe I'll use some smaller pieces. All right, now I didn't bring any sugar. I think that would have been good just to sprinkle some sugar on, but I did bring some cinnamon and I have some uh, little, little tiny marshmallows. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the little marshmallows on. This will add some sweetness to it and a little bit of creaminess and gooeyness if they stay on. And then a little bit of cinnamon. And that's it. Put the other piece on. I'm gonna put a little bit more butter on it and then I'm gonna squeeze it shut and put it in the fire. All right, I just checked my apple pie and it is done. It's nice and crispy on the outside and brown. And uh, I'll cut it open and take a look in a little while. All right, here's the uh, apple pie pie. <laughs> just gonna cut it open. Bear with me, I'm just using one hand because I'm holding the phone with the other one. Well, I cut the apple pie open, but you can't really see too much um, just the apples with the white marshmallow squished around it and the cinnamon um, looks pretty good uh, i'm gonna try it um, as soon as it cools down a little bit it smells amazing well for a dessert that doesn't have chocolate this is pretty good um, it actually tastes almost just like an apple pie except like the breading is different um, so it's really good and it's not too heavy um, the cinnamon just gives it a nice little pop and uh, I'm going to go eat this and try not to sweat too much. <laughs> well, it's almost 8 o'clock and uh, it's pretty nice out. I just heard a rumble of thunder, um, which is funny because the sky is blue, the sun is out, um, it's not a breath of wind, like the lake is perfect mirror and uh, it's just gorgeous out. Um, temperatures drop just a tiny bit and uh, if I'm not moving and I'm lying in the hammock even though I got a tiny bit of Sun coming through the trees uh, it's not too bad um, super relaxing day uh, hung around in the hammock a lot uh, read a little bit listened to an audiobook went swimming uh, went exploring in the canoe ate some delicious food um, I'm super super full right now I just like put the bear vault away and everything's done um, 
I'm going to hang in the hammock until the sun goes down and then I probably put the hammock away and then I'll probably take the tarp down before I go to bed um, depending on what happens. So peaceful here. Uh, I saw two people in a canoe going in, uh, coming out of Poker Lake yesterday and I saw two people going into Poker Lake today and that's it. I haven't seen anyone else so it's been quite wonderful. That was definitely thunder rumbling. I just heard it again. It's getting closer. I just took the weather network and the thunderstorm is now gone and it's just supposed to rain a few drops at around 10 o'clock for an hour or so. <laughs> so I don't know, but I'm still hearing thunder. Sun's going down over here. It's beautiful and uh, still just hanging out in my hammock. Beautiful sunset here on Upper Crane. And uh, over here, actually you can see just at the edge, uh, clouds are rolling in. I smell rain and I hear thunder. Here comes the storm. Well, the thunder's getting closer and closer. I'm just sitting here under my tarp. I've got everything put away. The bear vault's done. I'm done eating for the night. So um, I just have my day bag here. Uh, this is what I bring my bear vault in. Um, I carry it with the canoe. And then when I'm at camp, the bear, vault, the bear vault gets evicted. And then I use it for like my day bag. So I have everything in here that I need like during the day. Sunscreen, my book. Um, well, the sunscreen's back in the bear vault now. Um, my water, um, charger for my phone, all that kind of stuff. So I just kind of lug this around if I'm going down to go for a swim or sit in the hammock or wherever I'm going. I just take the bag with me and then I have all my stuff. So, so it got dark and the sun's just going down. Uh, it's pretty. It's not amazing, but it's nice. And uh, I'm waiting to see what happens here with this thunderstorm that was forecast that was removed that seems to still be coming here. Oh wow, wind's picking up now. I love a good storm when I'm ready for it. I'm not gonna lie, when I'm ready for it. There's the thunder clouds right over there. Oh, it's nice. First breeze I've had all day. All right, I'm gonna go uh, wait under the tarp, see what happens. Coming to you live from Storm Central on Upper Crane Lake and the Halliburton Water Trails. <laughs> uh, not really Storm Central at all. Um, it's barely spitting. I don't even know if you can hear the rain on the tarp. It's that light. Uh, it's a little bit windy, which is nice. I feel like the temperatures maybe drop two degrees. And it's still thundering. It's raining a little bit harder now. Still nothing crazy. And still no lightning. I'm disappointed. <laughs> it's like 20 after 8. Um, it got really dark out here uh, from the weather. Um, it sounds worse than it is. Um, still a little bit of thunder on the edge there. It's like right overhead right now, but it's not bad. And it's just raining a little bit. Um, it smells amazing though. I love the smell of the forest when it rains. It's like uh, everything just comes into the air and it smells so good. Anyways, I'm gonna sit out here and keep watching. Maybe I'll see some cool lightning or something. Well, it's 20 after nine. I'm still sitting here under the tarp. Um, it's just raining very lightly. There was a little tiny bit of lightning. Um, it was just like full sky lightning. It wasn't like bolts or anything. And uh, it was far off in the distance way after the thunder left. Um, it's cooled down quite a bit. 
Uh, it feels like 31 now. It was feels like 39 this afternoon. So um, eight degrees, uh, big difference. Like I'm actually feeling a little chilled. Um, so hopefully I get a good sleep tonight. It was so hot last night. I did not sleep very well. I'm um, going to start making my way to my tent soon. i uh, just been sitting here messing around with my phone, uh, making up little uh, shorts and stories for the next week of uh, uh, Facebook and Instagram and stuff. So it just saves me some time later next week. I'm sitting here doing nothing anyways. So anyway, um, that's about it. Well, it's just after 3 a.m. and I just came out to use the privy and uh, gorgeous moon out super super bright and it's reflecting on the water so pretty well good morning it is 7 26 on um sunday morning um i have got everything packed up i woke up at about quarter after six and went to the privy and then i just started slowly packing up um the tarp was kind of nasty uh, it was wet and then, uh, you know, you have to lay it down on the ground. I do because I'm by myself. It's like a 10 by 13. Um, so it's covered in mulch. So I'll have to like open it up and, uh, dry it out when I get home along with the tent fly. Um, but everything is packed up and I'm pretty much ready to go. I just came up to do a last minute check, make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, and, uh, I think I've got like about an hour to get to the access if that, um, just going to paddle over to the portage, um, through Crane Lake. Uh, I got to try to be quiet because there's two people or there's supposed to be two people camping on the two campsites down at the other end. And then I've got that little 200 meter portage and then a short paddle through Ben Shoe and I'm back at the access. So, uh, I'm going to do all that and, um, really great trip. Uh, very, very relaxing. I'm super excited that I got to try the Thermarest out in the water and it actually worked. I will be doing that again. Um, really good food. I uh, love the pies. Um, the camping uh, pie irons or whatever you guys want to call them. Um, it's not something that I would be bringing on every trip. Uh, I knew I wasn't going to have a lot of portaging or anything and uh, it's very heavy but it was just something different to do. Um, I'm always trying to do different things with food out here um, to keep you guys interested and also to keep myself interested because uh, I like new things. So um, that's about it. I'm going to scoot down to the boat and uh, get myself set and uh, shove off. All right, it is 7.35 and I am on the water heading towards the portage. Just disturbed a giant heron that was flying here. Beautiful. Sorry, dude. Oh, it's big. It's got some little bird chasing it. <laughs> well, it's been 10 minutes and I'm at the portage. <laughs> Didn't take very long at all. Alright, it is 7.55 and I am on my way. I um, just stopped to take a few pictures and some videos um, before I set up the canoe and started going. <laughs> well, easy peasy like magic. It's 10 after 8 and uh, I'm just arriving to the other side of the portage with the backpack. Get the canoe all ready to go. I'm just going to take a couple pictures here and uh, make my way through. Alright, it is 8.15 and I am on Banshee Lake. Just have a short, not even 10 minute paddle I don't think, uh, to get to the access. And then I'll be loading up the car and heading home. Well, it's 8.33. Just bringing my pack up to the uh, access where I'm going to bring my car. Uh, there was a boat loading, a motorboat <laughs> uh, loading at the access, so I didn't uh, take any videos or anything. I just kind of hurried up and went through. Uh, I'm just going to walk over to get the car. Um, got the backpack on. Doesn't really matter. It's just across the street. And uh, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.